it's very difficult to comprehend. Well, start from the what beginning. Happened. Start from the beginning. Okay, from the beginning. To those who already have, it shall be given more. Okay? And to those who don't have, it shall be taken from. So to, let's, for example, take self-love, okay? If you hate yourself, you're going to meet more people who hate you. If you bully yourself, you're going to get bullied more. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay? If you love yourself, you will be surrounded by more love because you won't accept any type of negativity around you. So whatever you lack, if you, for instance, you said, how does somebody go into a place of self-love? Well, how is hating yourself proof? Hating yourself will not profit you in your life. Because if you hate yourself, you will allow people to use it as your doormat. Uh, you will not only get bullied, but you will also bully yourself. But if everybody hates you and you love yourself, that means you have something. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And when you have self-love, you get more love. If you don't have self-love, you, uh, you will encounter more and more hatred in your life. And even with money, it's the same thing. If you are in an abundance mindset, you will get more money. If you're in a, in, a, in, a, in a mindset of scarcity, you will lose more money. You will lose and lose and lose and lose because you will always act in very unwise ways. Somebody who's not afraid, who, who knows he has something, will act different. Somebody who acts in abundance acts different than somebody who acts in scarcity. I don't know if you like following what I'm trying to I say. I am. Okay. That if you, if, so, you, if you already feel beautiful, worthy, and rich, more will be added okay. onto you. If you feel okay. ugly and poor and stupid, more ugliness and more poverty will be added onto you. Yes. Yeah. And exactly, exactly. Or let's say if the whole world says you are evil, but you believe that you are good because you know yourself, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Then that's good. But if in addition to everybody who hates you, you hate yourself also, how is that profiting you? Because there are times, even as a successful person, where the whole world will not like you. Because they don't understand what you're doing. So you can't agree to those who do not like you. You can't agree to negativity. Yeah, it's the law. Somebody said law of attraction. God gives to those who have. And God helps those who help themselves. themselves. And it's very, very hard. It's very, very hard. A hard lesson. Because some people in the comments were saying, Oh, I, I can't help. I, I don't know how to love myself. It's going to take... But if you don't le learn to love yourself, you're going to get crushed in this world. Don't think that somebody is going to love you. If, don't, if you don't love yourself, nobody's going to come and love you the way you're supposed to be loved. It's very hard. It's very, very hard. So that's what I wanted to add is that to those who already have, that means if you want to have love, have love for yourself first. If you want to have money, recognize the capital and resources you already have. Okay? And then use them to get more. But if you sit there, ah, I don't have rich parents, I didn't go to this school, I don't have these connections, I don't have that. You will have, you only see, if, your cup, if you see your cup as half full, there's that, you can see your cup as half empty or half full. Mine is half full and not half empty. Mine is overflowing, abundance all the time. Yeah, so that's how you see it. You always have to see your cup as in the, that is getting fuller. You don't have to see what is missing. You have to see it. it's getting fuller and fuller mm. until it overflows. And those that and the things that we already have are the things that God, the creator, whatever you believe in, to the higher power, already gave us for free. Which are we have a mind, and with our mind we can change our life at any time. We have gifts, we have talent, we have passions that we can use. That we can use, work on those things, and become who we want to become. 
we have already been blessed. So use what you have where you are to move forward. Use what you have where you are to start. Don't wait for the perfect occasion, the perfect situation, the perfect support, the perfect for weather, the perfect equipment. Whatever that it is that you have available to you to help yourself, use it and help yourself. Don't wait. Nobody else is coming. You already have it. Use it. Why are you going to wait for the, to have everything figured out when you can use what you have right now to start? Exactly. That's why it says to those who have. More should be added. You have more. You have hate in your life. More hate to you. You have love in your life. More love to you. And then don't be surprised whenever life gives you whatever you have in abundance in your heart. Don't be surprised. Exactly. You are negative all the time. You are lazy all the time. You complain all the time. Then don't be surprised when life is giving you exactly what it is that you think about the most, you talk about the most, and you feel about the most. And we are all in control. Because if you can think negative all day, every day, you can also think positive all day, every day. You are in charge. You are in control of whatever you choose to make your heart make full of. And whatever you, your heart is full of, your life is going to be full of it. Exactly. Um, I also wanted to add, yes, I completely agree with you. Of course, it's, we have to be positive because in this life, if you're not positive, you're going to get crushed. Because being negative is not productive. Oh, well. It has never been. Oh, well. Being negative has never been productive. So you have to be positive. However, I know we're human beings. You can have a moment where you're crying. Where you're like, What's you are allowed on? to cry. You are a human. You're allowed to cry, but fall down seven times, stand up eight. Stand we, up eight. Forward, always backwards, never. Stand up eight. It's okay to cry, but cry through it. We must cry too. Yes. We must get tired too. Even if it's failure right, mistakes. But don't go back to the It's dark okay. Place. There is nothing go good there. The dark place. Don't stay there. If you're in a dark place, keep going, even if it's dark. Sooner or later, the light's going to come. If there is no light, you be the light, straight up. Mm -hmm. Keep going. But I don't want to, uh, I don't want to say that we, all, we always smile or always know. No. It's difficult. It's, it's, hard. it's hard in this lifetime to be positive, but it's the only thing that's going to make you that's going to be productive for you. That's going to get you where you want to be. That's, that's, the, only, that's the only path. Yeah. Actually. You can that's cry. You can fail. You can make mistakes. That's okay. You are, a, you are a human being. Hey, it's okay. But don't stay down because you have failed. I fail. I cry. I make mistakes. I'm not ashamed of saying it. Absolutely not. Why? Because I use my failures, my mistakes as a lesson. How can I get better? I did it wrong this time. How can I improve? I use my tears. Okay, I, I was crying. No problem with that. I don't put myself down because I cried or because I made a mistake. No, because I have reached the point where in my mind and in my soul, everything that happens to me is happening for my greatest good. Period. Yes, yes. That's yes. how I see it. Every, it's for my greatest good only. If it's not for my good, God is not going to put it in my plate. No. Yeah. Use it and go forward. Go. Go. Don't stay stuck in your pain, in your misery. Unless you want to be there, well, then stay. Enjoy. Take your pain. Keep going. Clean it up. Clean it up. You, you, you clean your, yeah. You, you, you keep going because sooner or later you're going to stop crying. No matter how much it can rain today, I know tomorrow. I know at some time, at some point, this rain is going to stop. No matter how much trouble, how much pain, how much misery is going to stop if you are doing something to move forward. If you are stuck yes. and you stay the same, your life is stuck in and stay the same. But if you change, your life is going to change because you are the one living your life. You are the one creating your life. So use yes. everything that happens to you as motivation, inspiration to simply keep going. You got it. You can do it. Keep going. You are not where you want to be. So why will you stop? Why? 